it's my solemn duty to draw uh, the songs as they play the songs and uh, through the magic of cameras and projection equipment everyone in the audience can see the drawings live as they happen in glorious pen, ink, and marker. He's also a fancy talker. It's right. I use all the words I know and some I do not know. <laughs> this is like multimedia uh, um, sensory overload. You, you got theatrics, you got stage names, you have a million people. There's bouncing up and down, and you have this illust live illustrator. It's incredible. Yeah. Actually, I, we, we had a conversation, um, Toxic Goodwater and I, um, off the mic, uh, about Bright Eyes. They had on their last tour somebody who did something similar, some multimedia artist that set. Uh, you know something on 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 screen behind them. Uh -huh. yeah, but it's, it, it's funny. I, a lot of people talk about that. It, it seems to me that uh, after every show, someone comes up and says, "I've never seen that before. I've never seen anyone do that before." I, except I did see, and usually it's Bright Eyes or uh, I forget who the other one is. But oh, someone came up to me the other day in uh, in Boston and, and said there was some uh, band that does painting while they while they're playing. Yeah, you're big in the '60s. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It was. It was. But you got. Man, you guys are resurrecting something similar to that, and it's it's a really neat. It's, it's an really old. It's thing. actually an old vaudeville yeah. thing. They, oh really? There used to be uh, in vaudeville. There used to be this. Car uh, all the big cartoonists from the newspapers would travel and draw live, and it was a way for people to see their favorite cartoon characters sort of come to life. And it was actually one of those guys, a guy named Windsor McKay, who had the idea to photograph his drawings in sequence and then create an animation. And, and so the original animated cartoon came from vaudeville live drawing, which was very influential. I, I did not that know that. The Chalk Talk. The Chalk Talk. The Chalk Talk. Yeah, it was called the Chalk Talk. It was a staple of, uh, a staple of vaudeville. And he, he was one of the highest paid vaudeville performers uh, around, Windsor McKay. You learn something new every day. I did not know that. That's amazing. <laughs>